what's going on guys it's Blanchine TVK and today I'm doing uh, another redstone tutorial haven't done one in a good week or two so I thought I might as well do one so today I'll make a day so today I will be showing you the dispenser lock just making sure the dispensers the dispenser lock now it does require a good bit of redstone and could be how you can to say it like broken easily if you if you get what I mean by that but I'll just show you how it works so you have to put the dirt in the right right well, well not you don't have to put dirt you can put whatever you want but to put the right item in the right dispenser to open the door there we go and it only happens for a split second because um I can, oh, I'll I'll just try again um yeah, so it does only help them for a second. Yeah. And then you'll just collect your items. Um and it works by very easily making it. There was one where you used where you would use cobwebs. You can use cobwebs to ensure they do fall at the same rate if you want to. But that's just extra stuff you're gonna need really. But I will show how to build one now. Okay, so you're gonna start by building your wall of, well, like, of dispensers really. So, literally, just make it how big you're gonna. So, place the blocks. Uh, how many drop droppers or dispensers you want? Now, I'm only gonna use four, so I'll do it this side. So, I'm only gonna use four, and then you're going to want to patch all that up. Oops. Yeah, I can't do it. There. Yeah, you, so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna wanna just surround that in co in whatever kind of material you want, and then place your door. I got the wrong door. Whoops. Then place your door, and then obviously do the same with that. Obviously, your wall could be here or whatever you want to be. So just to ensure that the dispensers work, place a button in the top right of where you've put the cobblestone or whatever you want to put around your dispensers, and then put uh redstone along the top until you get to the piston otherwise piston sorry to the dispenser otherwise you're gonna open your door and you don't want that really do you so yeah so you can hear the noise of when it drops now place pressure plates along all of the underneath of the dispensers and to ensure they don't go flying off over here you're gonna want to put a line of cobblestone along to stop it to, so it can only fall onto the pressure plates like that <coughs> right next I'm just I haven't built one of these properly in ages right so yeah so next you're going to want to dig to dig a hole three let's see how many is this three blocks wide so yeah so one block down let me just get to here so you want to dig a hole one block down there and three along here so it's three by four yeah so you want to dig a three by four hole just one block deep and then you're going to put torches on the choice of pressure plate now you could have it like this and have those two blank or you could have it like this and have those two blank but I'm going to have it like that then yeah so then you put repeaters, I think it's this way you put repeaters like this yeah you put repeaters like that and you put them on their lowest tick and then you're going to want to fill the whole pit with redstone sorry I have to keep looking over there fill the whole pit with redstone um, right and now here's the tricky part this bit always confuses me Right. This is now we have to build a sort of invert gate to ensure this works. So put your put just use dirt or cobblestone. Put cobblestone three blocks along this way, and then up one block and then over two blocks along, so it looks like that. Then the last one just put a block here. Then put a torch on the end of here, so that torch goes out. You want that torch to be out, and then. You place redstone on there. Place another torch here. Um, place redstone. I think it's all the way. Yeah, and then there's a torch on the back of here. 
which we turned off. So if those two torches aren't turned off once you've made this, you've obviously gone wrong somewhere. Right, and then we go along to the door, but we're not finished yet because if we do this, it wouldn't work. Right, and now the tricky part that got me is you've got to put two repeaters underneath of the thing for some strange reason. This works, and put them on the highest setting. I'm just going to check if that actually works. Let's just check. One moment. Right, yeah, so I had that right, yeah. So, let's, so, let's, so I'll just stop here so you can just see it. So you want to build it exactly like that. So it doesn't require much elaborate redstone. It only needs two, sorry, four repeaters, um, five torches, and a bit of red. Well, quite a bit of red, actual redstone, but obviously you can get, you can get that pretty fast. So just for a quick test, we'll put, we'll test it out. And it didn't work because it didn't land on the right one. Sorry, I'll do it again. Right, sorry about that. So I've got to put that on there. Oh, oops, I don't want to do that. And that on there. If this doesn't work, I'll have to fix it. Where the. Right. In fact, yeah, sorry, that doesn't work. It worked a second ago, I just tested it. Uh, you can put cobwebs actually if you want to. I know they're quite hard to get, but you could trade string or something on a server with an admin or a mod or something. I'm pretty sure they'd let you. Or you could just buy a cobweb from the shop if that if your server has if the server has the shop. Right, just try this now. You better open door. Ah, there we go. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, cobwebs actually actually work better. Yeah, so um, yeah, ensure you've got a good type of door really for this, because what happens is those two turn off, which turns that off, which turns that on, that off, that on, and blah de blah. Yeah, I can't bother going over that. There's pr one problem with this though is well, what's good about it is if they do get the combination wrong, let's just do this. I'll get the combination wrong. I'll put one in here. And I'll put one in here. Hopefully this will actually not fail like it did last time I tried this. <laughs> now you're gonna press the dispenser buttons or there we go. As you can see there's a two press down, but only one torch is on and one torch is off, and that overpowers that. So that's why I wouldn't turn back on. Now there's two problems with this. One, if you're um, because of the new update, because blocks group together when they're quite close, I think I'm sure that is. If blocks are too close, I think they group together. Yeah, there you go. Blocks group together when they're quite quite close. So if you're going to either make longer dispensers, like a longer row of dispensers, or at least make it this one or this one or this one or this one or the two end ones, try not to make it the middle ones because it probably won't work. But if they do get it wrong, yeah, they're going to have to wait at least five minutes for the blocks to despawn. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope this helped you. This uh, probably won't help very much. But just to quickly finish off, I forgot about this one. Make sure you put a button on the door so you can actually get out. So, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.